an escalation. Make sense of the stories you care about whenever suits you. Open the BBC Sounds app, tap podcasts for news catch up. Hello, you're watching BBC News, broadcasting to viewers in the UK and around the world. I'm Sean Lay. Here are our latest headlines. The bells toll in St Peter's Square as the Vatican announces the death of the former Pope Benedict XVI at the age of 95. Pope Benedict led the Catholic Church for nearly eight years until, in 2013, he became the first Pope to announce his resignation in 600 years. Covid is back in the headlines. World health officials call for Beijing to share accurate Covid data as England becomes the latest country to control arrivals from China. A winter warning from NHS bosses in Wales. They say health services are experiencing demand like they've never seen before. They urge people to do what they can to help. Celebrations have begun to mark the start of 2023. Firework displays in Auckland, New Zealand and here at Sydney Harbour. Hello, if you just joined us, welcome to BBC News. The former Pope Benedict XVI died on Saturday morning at the age of 95. The Vatican says he passed away peacefully at his residence inside. His health had been worsening in recent weeks and an announcement had been expected. Benedict served as head of the Roman Catholic Church for eight years until 2013, when he became the first Pope in 600 years to announce he planned to retire. German by birth, he was known for his conservative theological outlook.